Hi, here we are again for another Carrera 8 Pro tutorial and this one is on importing uh, Genesis 2 content and DAS content libraries into Carrera 8.5. Um, this has a lot to do with smart content which is created through metadata. So what that means is uh, products that are related to each other but aren't necessarily created by the same artists are able to connect through metadata so that you know um, for example what clothing item might belong to one of the Genesis figures so just to get going here let's take a look at the tutorial okay so I have Carrera and also DAS 4.6 and the install manager already installed and that just makes it really easy for Carrera because I just have to sync up my DAS content libraries um, to access smart content but in this case um, you don't need that you can use the install manager so if I take uh, for example Benjamin from for M5 Michael 5 and um, I download that and installing content with the install manager is is the best way to go it does everything automatically and I would strongly suggest doing it um, <clears throat> so basically I have to start a queue so I can install it on the uh, third panel here. So I've got it selected. I'm going to start a queue and it stalls, installs really fast. So when I click on installed, now you can see, first of all, in order to see what I just installed, I'll just go down to the date, recent first, and you'll see Benjamin for M5, and you'll see that it has a mark under smart, which means this is smart content so that's good news but <clears throat> now if you have manually installed all your content without the install manager you might have to update your metadata that's easy go to DAS uh, sorry DAS Studio 4.6 right click on the smart content tab then click on content DB maintenance and another window comes up and you just basically go down to re-import metadata now of course you only have to do this if you haven't automatically installed it with the install manager it's for manual install so you accept that and basically it's going to show you a larger panel of all the products that are that have metadata and um, are connected through smart content so basically you just you know accept this and it will import all the metadata into the database so however you do it that's up to you but once you've done it you go to the bottom <clears throat> browser and you'll see smart content click on that and there are three ways to view your smart content now you can select the individual files and you can see all the different files here or you can use categories um, both good ways but slightly different ways of finding your and using your smart content but what I like to use is products the only thing is is you have to know the name of the products but for me it just seems to be easier to find everything here and usually it shows ev all, all the related products so you click sorry you click uh, Michael 5 and <clears throat> what you just basically double click whatever you want and it will put it in the center of your assembly room in the center orientation um, so that's what I've done and now I'll just uh, get a good view of it don't worry about what this character looks like right now because um, if you look up here at the top right hand corner there are different view modes and right now uh, it's not the textured mode 
So, you know, there's different modes you can use here. There's the wire mode, there's flat, there's the IK chain or, uh, you know, skeleton mode. Um, and then there's the texture mode, which will give you the most realistic representation, but, uh, you know, sometimes it's hard on resources so you don't want to use it sometimes but this this is okay to use it for this model and basically um, you know once you've done that you'll see that another panel opens up that's the animation panel but don't worry about that now we click back to browser and let's find the Benjamin for M5 that's what we just installed there it is so basically I'm going to select a skin and for some reason double clicking doesn't work so I just drop and drop and uh, drag and drop it onto the model and wait for it to load and you'll see the texture changing there we go so you know obviously you can add other smart content to this model this is just a very quick tutorial but let's let's say we just put a backpack on them I know it doesn't make any sense it's kinda of surreal but that's how easy it is to add content that is meant for uh, particular models and props so if we render it out and that's what I love about Carrera it renders out one magnificent image and there it is so that was a quick tutorial on smart content and installing metadata I hope you liked it see ya